good morning, good afternoon, wherever you're out there. Again, guys, my name is Carson Cook. Thank you so much for tuning in um, to the Merchant Services Slayers Group. I haven't done a video for a long time. We've been doing a lot of revamping with Centrix and GoFree Pay here. Uh, I've got another office that's going up, so on and so forth, so I haven't had a lot of time to do one. Just got back from Cambodia, so that was pretty cool, um, and traveling a little bit. But um, anyway, today, guys, I want to talk about a super important topic. This is actually going to be out there for... Uh, this is going to be out there for um, people that are trying to build an ISO. They're going to be out there for people that are running an office or trying to build a small team um, and more of more along the lines of a manager video. And today we're going to talk about um, the basic idea that if you're managing a team of sales agents, how do you get agents to close deals, whether they're new or they've been in the industry for a long time. Okay. And I'm going to talk about three different things that are super valuable and very important to understand and concepts that you have to grasp if you're going to become a successful manager um, within merchant services or running a successful sales team in a highly competitive space, which this happens to be. Okay, so the first thing though, before I get into these three points, that's very valuable to understand is that, that there's been studies, not only in, not for sales, but for pretty much, you know, client company coordination, so on and so forth, that, that agents or sales individuals are 40% more likely to close sales and earn business if they follow your procedures, if they follow your company's process. Now, there's a good chance that if you're a manager and you've designed these processes, or if you're an agent ISO office and you've designed these principles and processes, they're based off of the expectation of all the other departments cohabiting together and coordinating with each other, which is important to understand. Okay, so with that being said, we're gonna talk about three things once that we understand that. So make sure that first off, when we go through this stuff, that you make sure that your agents, okay, are following your process. Okay, if they're following your process, you will win. If they're not, you will lose. So first thing, role playing. Vital. Role playing is vital within your training procedure that you have to have consistently with your agents that are in the field. We do what we call hot sessions and we do this on a daily basis. We discuss the role playing between merchants and uh, between merchants and customers too. I'm sorry, sorry, merchants and agents as well. That's important. What went well? What did they say? What did you say? Okay, which is super important to understand that you know this ongoing training is a way to bring up different objections, so on and so forth. Um, and it's one of the best training methods out there is that you have to consistently role play with your agent, especially after training to make sure that the information you had in your training gets retained by your agent and it's being actively pursued in front of potential clients. Okay. There is a set way to close deals. You guys know this. If not, you've watched our videos, get your agents to role play a lot. Super good tactic and technique. Okay. Number two, this is one that Craig uses a lot, especially if you're new in the field, or even if you've been in the field for five to 10 years but you're running into a sophomore slump or the industry is changing past your sales expertise um, and there's new value added propositions, whatever it happens to be, but this is recording, okay? Ask if permission if you need to in your state. I don't know the laws, but we have our agents record their pitches. We have them go into the pitch and record it so that the management, you as the manager who's been in that situation before, more than likely can listen, observe, and train based off that appointment. That way those mistakes are fixed with your agent before they go into the next appointment or before they go into the next sales day. So get recordings. Recordings are super key. They're important because there's always new objections, new concerns, and getting the recordings is a quick training tool to get an agent um, up to speed on closing consistently every single day. Then the last one that's super important um, is that, you know, with your agents is that, um, you know, we have to make sure that not only are you're dealing with with um, you know the recordings, but also kind of let's see here. I can't even read that. What about here? Involvement. Oh yeah, involvement. Sorry, I can't even read my own handwriting. Involvement is super important. Okay, involvement means that you have to be micromanaging, and I hate to say this because even when you have agents, okay, some of us that are watching these videos, you guys have been in processing for 15, 20 years. I get that, but at the end of the day, if you're 40 percent more likely to close deals with an ISO by following their process. You have to be humble enough to still learn every single day. Just because you've been doing something 20 years, great. You have your 10,000 hours, but great professional sports athletes are the ones that will come off the field and say, I still learn every day, right? You got to be humble with this. And that's the biggest thing is that you have to follow that process. Even if you know that, um, you know, if you can make it work, you bring in your sales expertise, your 20 years of knowledge, that's great, man. But you gotta mix it with the company process if you're gonna succeed with that ISO. If not, you're gonna fizzle out, close three or four deals, waste of time, wasting the manager's time. So with agents, especially if you're new, that's a, that's a no-brainer, involvement's easy. Part of that sales process needs to be that involvement, where you need to call into the office, bring another person in the room, do ride-alongs, like you know, any type of training 
with that agent to where they have an expert on disposal or on tap, it's perfect. Or if you have to even, as a manager, get on a speakerphone and close that deal for that agent right in front of that agent so that they can physically see that you know what you're doing, okay? Same goes for agents that have been closing. And the goal with that is to ask yourself, I mean, even if you've been doing this for 10 years, but you've only closed four to five deals a month for 10 years, you can still get to 30 deals a month, right? It's possible, there's agents that do that. So be humble enough to learn that there might be a better way or you know, look at this as not a fighting situation, but when you're trying to get agents to close, you guys are a team. It's good cop, bad cop, good cop, good cop, bad cop, bad cop, doesn't matter. The point is we're all moving in that same direction. Your management is not trying to micromanage you. They're trying to close a deal. They're trying to get the company money. They're trying to get you paid. Uh, and they put, might put you in uncomfortable situations. But at the end of the day, that's one of the things. It's a competitive space. Be expected to be put in uncomfortable scenarios and situations. Those are very important words, okay? And Jordan Belfort talks about this, and he's dead on the money, is that in order to be a solid sales individual, you have to be comfortable in uncomfortable situations. You have to feel at home being an X Games motorcycle stunt double in the communication realm. You have to be okay with flying out of a plane or jumping out of a plane um, and be comfortable with it, calm and collective. It's the same thing within sales. So in, in order to get agents to close a deal, okay, with this last one, you have to have involvement. You can't do it by yourself, okay? You have to make sure that you have involvement. Um, and if you are a single agent ISO, you're doing it by yourself, that's great. Um, you've had a lot of experience, but in order to build a team, you have to take whatever you've learned and you have to replicate yourself. And that's one of the hardest things to do in leadership is to replicate yourself. So follow these three principles and processes, and that's going to help your agents close more deals. Thanks for tuning in to Merchant Service Slayers, and I'll see all you out there on the sales board, guys. Rock and roll.